Hey everyone, this is Piper from Game With Scissors, and I'm here to bring you another uh, new and exciting game that you may not know about yet. And if you've never seen any of these It's So New videos, uh, basically what we do is we go, we find games that are in alpha, beta, early access, or are just about to come out, and we show them to you guys, and uh, we give you a little glimpse at um, what these games are, what they're going to be like, and um, you know you can make a judgment on whether you think you should go out there and pick it up or um, wait for the game to come out or whatever, whatever the situation may be. Um, so this time we are taking a look at a game by Yacht Club Games called Shovel Knight, and um, this is really a game that's a mixture of platforming, a uh, little bit of RPG and a little bit of, uh, you know, retro goodness. So let's go ahead and jump right in here and I think immediately uh, it will seem very familiar to everyone. As you can see, this is a throwback to all of those uh, NES and Sega Genesis Super Nintendo era games. Um, there's a lot of a lot of features in this game that remind will remind you of other games. Um, there's a little bit of Mario here, a, legend, a little bit of Legend of Zelda 2, a little bit of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's just done so incredibly well. Um, the first thing that you're gonna, the first thing you're really gonna pick up on is is the the scenery and just the overall art style. It's done very well. Um, there's a lot of detail put into each of these levels. And that's really hard to do. Um, anyone who's familiar with pixel art at all uh, will tell you to get a good, you know, a lot of contrast, a good looking character. Um, it does, it takes a lot of work, even though they're so minimalist. And you can look at just in the background, you can look at the, uh, like the caves you're walking through here. Uh, there's a lot of work that went into the game. And Yacht Club did a phenomenal job with everything they've done here. The art style is just, it's killer. And as you make your way through here, you'll also notice that uh, the enemies are pretty diverse. You don't have the same rinse and repeat bad guys that you'll run into in a lot. A lot of indie games, they're, they're not the only ones that are, that are going to be uh, guilty of this. But, I hate to say that they are quite often the biggest culprits of reusing a lot of their enemies. You don't really have that here. Each time you, uh, each room that you go into, or each, uh, each board that you clear, there's gonna be something new that's waiting for you. And, uh, that's really, that's really what's gonna keep you going through this game. Um, not the only thing, mind you. But it's a it's a good motivator. We'll say that. <laughs> All right. Uh, each of these levels, um, or each of these rooms, not each of them, I guess. A lot of these rooms um, do have secrets. You just bash on walls, and you you'll get to the point. Where, as you're playing this, you'll. Uh, you will identify them like, oh, there's a secret right there. So they're not so hidden, they're not so secretive, uh, but they're not out in the open either. You're gonna want to look really around in all these rooms and kill all these guys so you can collect your little uh, jars of mana, which you'll need for magic once you get it, and then uh, also for uh, money. You need money so you can upgrade your character. That's when the, that's where the role-playing game aspect comes into play. There is uh, we we need to make our guy better and stronger. So to do that, we're gonna steal all these people's jewels. One of the really nice things about this, it's something that's very subtle too, that you may not even notice without it being pointed out, is uh, this game doesn't hold your hand, and it's awesome. Most games now, they're gonna force you to sit through like a 30 minute tutorial. You know, pick up a game for the 360 or the Xbox One or PS4, and you're gonna be stuck for a good amount of time just trying to figure out how to play the game. 
Shovel Knight doesn't care if you know how to play the game or not. You kind of just get thrown in there. And if you can't figure it out, then, well, that's kind of sad because there's two buttons. There's a jump and there's an attack. So if you can't, can't figure that out, then uh, video games may not be your thing. So you get to jump right into the action. So it's, uh, it's really nice. And each of these levels really isn't going to take you that long to finish. It's another great thing about uh, what I've played so far through this game is that you can you can really sit down and make a decent amount of progress in a short amount of time. You actually feel accomplished instead of you sitting and having to toil through these like never-ending stages and labyrinths and just pain in the butt levels. You don't really have that here. You get to the point. You get right to the meat. You don't have to. You don't have to mess with all the, all the appetizers. And as you go through here, you'll, uh, you'll kind of get the hang of everything. It's really, it's really an easy game to pick up. Um, and once you, uh, once you kind of figure it out, it's, it's not hard at all. It's very enjoyable. Um, then at the end of each stage, just like every good game, you're gonna have a bad guy you gotta fight. You got the uh, your boss. And this stage is the Black Knight, and he is incredibly easy to beat. And it was nice. It's nice that Shovel Knight is like that because the game does get significantly more difficult. But the first level is really. Because you don't get that tutorial, but that first level kind of acts as the, this is how to play the game. Hope you figure it out. The bosses do kind of, uh, they will learn your, uh, your movements, or at least follow your movements to make it uh, a little more difficult. So it's not just stand in the corner and wait for them to hit the end of their attack phase or anything like that. He'll, uh, he'll as I jump, he'll actually kind of follow me. He'll, uh, there we go. Easy peasy. So there you go. This is pretty much Shovel Knight in a nutshell. It is a really good representation of a retro remake. Not even a remake. Just a, just a nod of the head. A salute to these old classic games that we all grew up loving and if you didn't grow up you should go back and play them because they're awesome um shovel knight comes out june 26th of 2014 i suggest you go out and pick it up from steam it is well worth the money and you will thank yourself i promise